Welcome back, scholars. Welcome to our second project. Um, you have done terrific so far, and now we get to get we get to play with watercolors. Okay, so one more time in your packet. I hope you haven't played with them and used them all up by now. We have a little palette of various watercolors. Now, watercolor is a wonderful media, but it can get pretty messy. We're going to do some really amazing big flowers. So we have an artist by the name of Georgia O'Keeffe. Georgia O'Keeffe does amazing watercolor paintings of giant flowers. So we are all going to learn and try to do ourselves a big painting of flowers. You do need to fill the whole page up for this one. So don't just do little tiny flowers. I want to see a lot. And I'm going to show you. So follow me and we will do a step-by-step -step how to do and have fun with watercolors. Okay. So here we are getting ready to start our watercolor project and I was showing you some really beautiful uh, flowers and this is what we are going to do. Now, normally most people that paint with watercolors will use watercolor paper because it's stronger and you're going to be using a lot of water so if you can get watercolor paper that would be perfect but I'm going to show you how to do it on regular computer regular white paper okay just so that you know that you don't have to get watercolor paper now it's a little uh, trickier to do with regular paper because it's it's so thin the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a wash and that means that we're going to put one big color over the whole piece of paper a color we like and we're going to let it dry and then we're going to come back and do our flower so in your kits if you haven't lost this teeny tiny sponge you're going to need a sponge you're going to need your watercolors you're going to need a little bitty container of water. Um, most of you have a little brush that came with your kit. If you have other brushes, you're welcome to use them. So the first part is, is what we call a wash. Now, please be careful. Again, this is very thin paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip my sponge in the water and I don't want it dripping wet, so I'm going to just get all the water off so that's just moist. And I'm going to go ahead and use my sponge and wet my paper very gently, very carefully, okay? Because remember, see, it's very thin. And if it looks like you might need more, just add a little more, but not a whole bunch. Now that my paper's wet with my sponge, believe it or not, let's see, I want my background color to be red. I'm going to go ahead and grab some paint right here. And I'm just going to put it all over my back, my paper, okay? And you don't have to put a lot. And sometimes you can just do like this. And we want a very, very light, light, light color as our background. So I turn it around. And I turn it around and kind of, I want it to have, this is called texture. I want it to have some sort of texture. Okay, that looks good. That looks really good. All right, so do you see how thin the paper gets? You can see that it gets very wet. 
So I'm going to let it sit here all by itself and let it dry. All right, so we'll be back. Okay, scholars, so I came back and my paper is really dry and it's it's okay. It has it looks a little bumpy, but that's okay because it's very thin paper. So now the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and paint on here the shape of my flower. Now remember you're going to fill the whole page up. Make sure you don't put a ton of water. We want only a little bit, which means only make your brush wet enough to pick up the color. You can use your lids. I know some of you may have different kinds of lids. And on the lids you can mix colors. So let's start by dipping my brush here in the water. And I just want to start with the orange. And I'm just going to put a little bit of water. You see that? Watercolors, you want your colors to be very light. So I just dip a little bit. And I'm going to start with a circle because that's the middle of my flower. And I'm, right now I'm going to use the same color to outline my flower. Okay? And I'm going to put petals. Let's see if I can. And they don't have to be perfect. You just do the best you can. You can actually look at a picture if you have a picture to copy from so you can see what a, what a flower might look like for you. And sometimes the petals have like really odd shapes. They don't always have to be pointy. Good to have napkins or a towel of some sort so you can wipe your brush if you're going to change colors. That way you don't mix them up right away. So I'm going to change to a brown color. And again, a little bit of color and a little bit of paint because I want to add some really cute little lines in the middle. This gives me a little more definition to my flower. And then I'm going to do the same thing, wipe my brush. You'll see here I'm, I'm putting my brush in the water and I'm wiping it on my towel. Then a little bit of water and I'm going to pick up my other color. Now sometimes flowers have these little lines that come right off of the middle. So I'm just going to add those. And I know that the middle part is where most flowers have seeds. Did you know that? So I'm going to go ahead and try mixing a color. So here's what I'm doing, just to give you an idea. This is a little hard to see. I'm going to put some green, okay, because I'm going to add some green. And then I'm going to add some of this brown. And I'm making a brownish green color, just right here, okay, because I want to add little dots inside my little bud of my flower where the seeds usually go. And I'm going to make more lines. And that's just giving some detail, some little extra things to my to my flower. Okay. Now the next thing is um, this white area, if you don't have a wide brush, this is a good opportunity to use the sponge. Okay. So I'm going to grab with my sponge, not completely wet, you see, it's very, it's just moist. I'm just going to grab some of this red color. See how I'm putting it on here? And use this like if it was a brush and brush my flowers. See how easy that is? Very light and very carefully. You just want to add some color to your petals. Look at how fast that covered the flower, right? Now I'm going to show you something. So I'm going to show you what happens if you put too much water, okay? So if I was painting and I kept adding water, let's paint this little corner, right? And I kept adding water to my painting and I'm just like 
brushing and brushing and brushing and I keep brushing and look what's happening because this paper is so thin it's it's tearing up do you see that and then it's going to just make a hole so please be careful that you don't do that okay now I have a pretty pink and red flower if you look at all paintings you see that there's lots of different colors since there are lots of colors I would like you to add at least three layers of colors so for this project add more than one color let's see if you can add two or three different colors before I do that I have to let this dry so remember watercolor is all about painting and letting it dry so let's stop for now until it dries so here you can see how I used three different colors it's a light pink then I've added some red and brown and the middle of my flower has green okay let's see what you can do <laughs> 